February 2009, Abubakar's battle in the British courts to stay here ended in failure when it was ruled he could be deported. But in January last year, the European Court of Human Rights said he couldn't go because of the risk of torture evidence being used. And today, with the case back in the UK courts for the second time, the Mummy have some? have backed the European position. Well, this is a shocking decision. It's an abuse of human rights. <laughs> it doesn't take into consideration those people threatened by... <laughs> It's an abuse of Parliament as well because the will of Parliament clearly they want to chuck this man out of the country. And it's also an abuse of the taxpayer because the taxpayers pay millions to keep Abu Qatada inside the, the United Kingdom. So, what's the way ahead? Well, the Home Office is going to try to appeal to the Supreme Court here. It will also be attempting to secure more assurances from Jordan. But what are the chances of success with this? What it's being asked to do now by the courts is to change its uh, COVID criminal procedure or some other way of guaranteeing uh, that this torture evidence will not be used. Discussions have been going on, uh, but must be a prospect uh, that this can be achieved. As for the man himself, after a brief spell of freedom, he's currently back in a top security jail for allegedly breaching his bail conditions. His lawyers are expected to try to get him released again in the coming weeks. Well, Abu Batada has never been convicted of any offence in this country. Recently, Scotland Yard launched a criminal investigation to ascertain whether he breached his bail conditions by producing extremist material. So there is a possibility, but no stronger than that, a possibility that he could face criminal charges in this country. Meanwhile, as we were hearing there, the message from the Home Office has become something of a refrain that remains to deport Abu Batada. Jim, thank you. Tribute from the family and friends of Jade Anderson, the teenager who was found dead yesterday after being attacked by a pack of animals. <coughs> Greater Manchester say the animals were out of control when they arrived at a house in the Atherton area near Wigan. Here's our UK affairs correspondent, Chris Butler. <coughs> Jade Anderson had gone to visit her friend, but she died alone at the house, <coughs> having been confronted <coughs> and attacked by dogs. Outside the home, the grieving for a teenager. All day they've been leaving personal messages at the gates, and no one wants to think about what happened behind them. She was in. She was on the phone. If you needed a short of crime, she'd be there. If you had any problems, she'd always help you. <laughs> when the police arrived at the house yesterday afternoon, they found Jade and five dogs. Four of them were completely out of control and had to be destroyed. Oh, I right. saw the army force unit about to live on there and then you were going into it out, see it? Neighbours say they were used to hearing the dogs bark and seeing them jump off at the gate. And other children did regularly visit the house. The dogs. Well, the white one, when I went in right near the cage, like, you could see that was aggressive. <coughs> and, like, the big grey one, I can't remember if that car in the yard, when it was coming in, I was scared because they both, like, big. Although the police tape says this is a crime scene, it's not clear if any offence has been committed. None of the dogs was thought to have been of a brief ban under the dangerous dogs laws. There is legislation... That's that one. If there are laws that are broken, we've established that. Um, but first of all... I'm just <coughs> to establish what's happened. To right from the UK, there can be prosecuted if a dog attacks someone on public property. <coughs> and that applies to any breed. But in England and Wales, it's not an offence. Done. The dog is dangerously out of control on private property. <laughs> Prosecutions can be brought under these circumstances in Scotland and Northern Ireland, and there are plans to change the law in England and Wales. Where an attack takes place in a home, the full force of the law is having to 